Former Nightline host Ted Koppel did something brave recently. He said something that was obviously true. During remarks to the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, Koppel said the press has abandoned objectivity and is now pursuing a political vendetta. I'm terribly concerned that when you talk about the New York Times these days, when you talk about the Washington Post these days, we're not talking about the New York Times of 50 years ago. We are not talking about the Washington Post of 50 years ago. We're talking about organizations that I believe have, in fact, decided as organizations that Donald J. Trump is bad for the United States. Fox senior political analyst Britt Hume worked with Ted Koppel for many years uh, and joins us tonight. Britt, I, I don't think of Ted Koppel as a conservative figure uh, at all. But he just said something that I think many on the left will hate. Is it true? And why did he say it, do you think? I think it's unmistakably true, Tucker. And uh, you're right. I did work with Ted Koppel for many years. Uh, he's old school, much as I am. We come out of the same tradition, which is neutrality in news coverage, opinion reserve, opinions reserved for columnists and editorial writers. Uh, and in broadcast journalism, you have certain commentators and you have uh, correspondents who cover the news. And those, those lines of separation have become increasingly blurred. And in the age of Trump, as, as Koppel suggested, um, they've gone completely out the window because of a sense among journalists that the election of Donald Trump constituted a national emergency. And it was their duty as patriots uh, to resist it and to, and to do all they could to undo this presidency, which they have assiduously, in my judgment, tried to do. And we see it reflected constantly. I, I suppose what I find so infuriating about it is how indirect and dishonest it is. I mean, opinion people are pretty straightforward about it. We are on this show. Rachel Maddow, I, I'm not mad at Rachel Maddow. She says exactly who she is. There's no misleading anybody about being an opinion person. Why shouldn't news people who decide to become activists just say so out loud? Well, I, I agree with that. But I think, I th look, I think what happened here is that... Um, Watergate really is is a factor here because yeah. at that moment, which was the most exciting, the most uh, the most extraordinary moment in modern journalistic history in the United States, you know these two young reporters that were seen as bringing down a president of the United States. We you know we'd all been told that the Fourth Estate was powerful and so forth, but we, none of us had ever seen anything like this. This was truly remarkable. It was glamorous. They were celebrated in movies. They were, you know, they were the subject of, of endless books and so on. And it was it was an extraordinary moment, and it and it created an atmosphere in which I think journalists want to relive that. And here comes a target even more unpopular than Richard Nixon was in the person of Donald Trump. And they have gone about their business. And it is, and, and, it, and you know, back in those days, the Washington Post reporting on, on Watergate, which was so celebrated, was pretty darn solid. I know. But when Donald Trump gave his State of the Union address this, this year, the headline, the headline in the next day's Washington Post, banner headline said, a discordant appeal for unity. Now, that is an opinion. <laughs> you didn't used to see that in, in headlines. Uh, yes. And the news pages of any newspapers, let alone uh, let alone the Washington Post, as Ted Koppel said, things have changed, and they have, and not for the better, in my judgment. No, they're undermining their own currency for sure. Brit Hume, thank you for that. Great to see you. You bet.